With other business news making headlines, we welcome back Journal Record Editor Russell Ray, Chesapeake Energy and Continental Resources, two big ones, issuing their fourth quarter earnings on Wednesday. What is the news? Uh, well, Chesapeake reported a loss of $324 million in the fourth quarter. And uh, during the conference call with uh, reporters, Chesapeake CEO Doug Lawler said the company is planning a reverse stock split. Uh, the stock has been below $1 for uh, some time now. Uh, the stock split would raise the value of the stock and bring it in compliance with the rules of the New York Stock Exchange. Without the split, the stock could be removed from the stock exchange and relegated to, to uh, over-the-counter trading. Continental had a good year in 2019, earning $776 million on revenue of $4.7 billion. OG&E wanting to make major investments in solar energy, and it involves two Oklahoma tribes. Well, that's right. The electric utility plans to build and operate two five-megawatt solar projects for the Choctaw and Chickasaw nations in southeast Oklahoma. Uh, half of the output will be sold to the tribes. Uh, the other half will be provided to OG&E customers who subscribe to the utility solar program. Both uh, solar farms are expected to be up and running in August. You know, Russell, it's been a while since Oklahoma City added a large new hotel to its room inventory. Tell us about the OKC Omni and the impact it might have. Well, the 17-story hotel under construction next to the new convention center will be open for business on January 27th next year. Uh, it will feature more than 600 rooms and 78,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor meeting space. Uh, the hotel is part of the MAPS Three Penny Sales Tax Initiative. Uh, so far, the new convention center has already secured contracts for events that will have an estimated economic impact of more than $20 million. If you would, tell our viewers a little bit more about your Achievers Under 40 Class of 2020. How are they chosen well, and how will they be honored? Well, yes, uh, this is uh, one of our best classes of Achievers Under 40. Uh, we have 45 honorees this year, and we picked these uh, individuals from a pool of about 200 uh, nominees. It was uh, very difficult uh, narrowing down the uh, top 45. Uh, they were selected based on contributions to their professions, their communities, uh, and the state. We'll be honoring all of our achievers under 40 on May 29th in OKC. And just to be clear, I'm no longer eligible, apparently. That's right. You don't meet the criteria. I'm sorry <laughs> about that, Rich. Thank you, Russell. You bet.